I am Cybex author William Panic. In this video, I will show you how to install Active Directory to a server core system. Now, this particular version of server core is Windows Server 2012 Data Center. On a server core system, there is no GUI. Everything has to be done through the command line. First, I'm going to show you how to check and set your system time. Then, I'm going to show you how to check and set your TCP IP settings. And then, I'm going to show you how to install Active Directory to the system. So, when you do a Control-Alt-Delete and you put in your password, it brings you to this screen. So, the first thing that I need to do is I need to change my directory to the Windows System 32 directory. So, I'm just going to do a CD Windows System 32 and it'll put me in the System 32 directory. Then, I'm just going to type in timedate.cpl. And when I do this, it actually brings up my date and time. Now, it is Sunday, April 21st. The time is 3.51 in the afternoon, and my time zone is Eastern. So I don't need to make any changes to this window. So change your time zone, set your time, and then just say OK. Then what we're going to do is we're going to type in net sh and this is going to put us in a net shell and then I'm going to type in interface it's going to put me into the interface prompt and then I'm going to type in IPv4 and that's going to put me into the TCP IP version 4 prompt now I'm going to actually type in show IP and this will actually show me my interface because I need to know which interface I need to set my IP address to so it's using DHCP, I want to assign it a static number. And it's actually using 192.168.15.119. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to change this on the system. And the way we're going to do that is we're actually going to set an IP address. So I'm going to say set address, because I'm setting my TCP IP address, for interface 12. I'm going to set it to be a static number. I'm going to set the address to be 192.168.15.165. I'm going to set my mask to be 255.255.255.0. And I'm going to set my gateway to be 192.168.15.1. I set my TCP IP address on this to 165. I'm following the exercise in the book, and obviously this is for Chapter 3, Exercise 3. And in the book, I used 165, so that's why I'm using 165 here. So, but you can make that IP address any number that fits your network. And I'm going to hit Enter, and then I'm going to do a Show IP. And now, instead of it being 119 like it is here, it should be 165, what it's supposed to be set to. So, we actually did that correctly. So, then what I'm going to do... I'm going to set the administrator password. And the way I'm going to do this is I'm first going to get out of here. So I'm going to type exit. What I'm going to do is when I'm back to the system32 prompt, I'm going to type in net user and I'm going to type in administrator because this is the account that we're using. And I'm going to type in the actual star. Now when I do this and I hit enter, it's going to ask me to set my password. So type in a password. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set my password. And I'll hit enter. It's going to ask me to confirm. And I'll hit enter. And at that point, the password has been successfully completed. What we're going to do now is I'm actually going to rename this computer. To do that, type in my netdom command. And I'm going to say rename computer, no spaces, shift number five. And I'm going to put in the computer name here, computer name. And again, I'll do a shift number five, and I'm going to set and say new name colon server A. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit enter. And it's going to say, are you sure you want to proceed with this? So I'm going to say yes. And at that point, the computer name has been changed. But now to complete this, what I need to do is I need to shut the system down and restart it. The easiest way to do this is to type a shutdown and then I'm gonna put in my switches here and I'm gonna hit enter and the system's gonna go ahead and reboot so the machine has rebooted 
and I did a control alt delete so now I'm going to put in the password that we set and it brings us back to our users administrator so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make this a little larger make it a little easier to see here and at this point what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the word PowerShell because we're going to use PowerShell to do this installation it'll go ahead and put me into my PowerShell the first thing I need to do is I need to add DNS because DNS is a requirement for Active Directory. If you already have DNS on your network, then you don't need to add DNS. So what I gotta do is I gotta type in add, and I'm gonna add a Windows feature. I'm gonna type in Windows feature, and then I'm gonna say DNS, and I'm gonna hit enter. And at this point, it's gonna go ahead and start the installation for DNS. It's going to go ahead and collect its data, and once this finishes, we'll go ahead and continue the video. It actually shows you that it was a success. The next thing we need to do is add Active Directory. After I added DNS, I went ahead and did a CLS, and what a CLS does is it just clears my screen. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to add the Active Directory domain service. At this point, I'm going to do my add, and I'm going to say Windows Feature. And I'm going to type in ad-domain-services. And what that's going to do is that's going to go ahead and start the installation of Active Directory. So this is going to go ahead and install. And once this finishes, we'll go ahead and continue the video. Now you can see that Active Directory was installed. It's showing you here that it was a success. So now what I need to do, set it up so that we can set up the Active Directory services deployment. So to do that, I'm going to actually type in import module and I'll do a space and I'm going to do a DDS deployment one word and I'll go ahead and hit enter and that's going to go ahead and take care of that and then I'm going to actually type in install a DDS forest so this way I set up my forest for my my company and I'm going to type that in and it's going to ask me what my domain name is. So for this particular exercise, I'm just going to go ahead and use cybex.com. And I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And then it's going to ask me for a restore password. Now what this is, is if I ever have to restore Active Directory or go into a safe mode, it's going to ask me specifically for a safe mode password. So at that point, I'm going to go ahead and type in a password you can type in anything you want and again it's going to ask me to confirm it and at this point it's going to ask me if i want to accept everything and i'm going to say yes and it's going to go ahead and it's going to install my forest so it's going to take a few minutes to go ahead and finish this up and once this completes i'll go ahead and continue the video as you can see it's installing the new forest and once this completes the system will go ahead and do a restart so as you can see the system is rebooted so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead you can see that we're on the so the cybex domain so we're going to go ahead and we're going to log in and that'll bring us back to our administrator prompt in this video i showed you how to install active directory onto a windows server 2012 data center server core system